Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are on my Japanese garden inspired island bloom and we're going to be building the area around Nook's Cranny today. But before we actually get into placing Nook's Cranny, we do a bit of landscaping. So I need to do a bit of water terraforming and also some land terraforming. So let's get that done first. So for the water terraforming, I basically just want to connect this river that we had in our last build, which was Pico's house build, to the actual river mouth of my island. Now we'll also be bringing the river around a little bit more in just a little bit. So we'll see that in a second. But we also need to do some terraforming over here because I want to bring this land bit up. I'm going to put an incline in here somewhere eventually so that you're able to get to the upper levels of this island, which I'm probably going to put some houses around there. I'm not too sure, basically. I don't like to fully plan the island too much because I know I'm going to change my mind and I think I've said that before, but yeah, I do. I change my mind quite a lot when I'm building an island and that's okay. <laughs> okay, so here we are back at the river and we're going to be just bringing this background like this. It just allows me to move it around a little bit when we get to this part of the island. I also want to add another Zen bridge here so that you're able to access the beach which i am planning to decorate do you know what i'm not looking forward to though happy home paradise <laughs> i'm not looking forward to powering for it but i really want to be able to decorate my villagers houses especially the exteriors because some of the exteriors aren't going to match the rest of the island colors so yeah i'm gonna have to do it it's just a shame that we have to keep doing it but oh well so i was really unsure what i wanted to do with nook's cranny at first i didn't know if i wanted to do a more natural area for nook's cranny or if I wanted to carry on the vibes I had from over the other side, you know, where I did my fake building by resident services. And so, yeah, I decided to carry on that instead because I thought it'd be much easier to add the buildings here. Now, I think I'm going to put Able Sisters next to this. I'm not sure yet. haven't decided. I might even actually put Able Sisters on the beach. I've never really done a beach shop build before, so that could be fun. It could be interesting, something new to do, which, you know, I'm all for. I love doing new stuff. So maybe I'll do that, but I'm not sure. Now, for Nook's Cranny, we've decided to just make it look really pretty, basically it's a pretty area for you to just come and enjoy shopping and peacefulness and I also wanted to kind of hide the exterior a little bit of Nook's Cranny because it doesn't really fit in with my island theme too well so we want to do that we want to cover it up a little bit and that's basically the plan for this build now as usual all the codes that I'm using in today's video can be found listed in the description down below so if you see any you'd like to use on your island please do check out the MAs down there and also some of the creative socials that I could find as well because they definitely deserve the love for these cards because they're amazing. So I was thinking to myself which would be the best way to block in Nook's Cranny but not use any of the castle or medieval items because I just didn't want to use those on this island. You know what the next best thing was? Trees. We're going to be using the cherry blossom trees, we're going to be using the bamboo trees, and also my brand new favourite item, a pine tree. And also this pergola, because look at this. Look how much that covers it in, and it also blends in with the rest of the colours around this area, and I think it looks beautiful. Honestly, too, I think that just looks so nice. It's all blocked in. Nook's Cranny is basically covered up at the front there. We just need to cover the sides a bit now. I thought definitely some swinging benches would look very nice here. So we've got those on top of this lovely blossom dirt coat that I've been using. And by the way, I will be decorating the area to the left side of Nook's Cranny and this area in front here because I feel like that's just part of the same build. And I don't want to leave it because I feel like a bad thing that I do quite often when I'm building islands is I'll build an area and leave a small area or maybe a biggish area and then forget to decorate it till last minute and then have to go back there and try and figure out what I want to put there and... It ends up just being trees and flowers and I don't want to do that. So yeah, we're going to decorate it in this video along with this building. And I'm going to try not to miss any areas in my island when I do all these builds. I don't want to make it harder for myself when I try to finish the island, you know, and feel like, oh, i got to come up with an idea for this now because I left it. <laughs> so it's easier for me to just do it in one big go. Actually, that's probably a good bit of advice actually to give everyone. So if you feel like you struggle when it comes towards the end of your dream address, maybe when you're going through your island and you build specific builds make sure you fill in those smaller areas as well because you know you may think oh i'll go back and do it later it's just gonna be trees and flowers but then when you go back to do it later it's 10 times harder it it, it generally is it feels 10 times harder to decorate it for some reason and i don't know why <laughs> so take my advice and do each section together don't leave any bits just do it <laughs> Obviously, that's a little bit more difficult if you want to do that sort of method with your beaches as well, because if you're like me, you put all the houses on the beach and your buildings on the beach to keep them out of the way while you're planning your island. So that's a little bit more difficult, but if you do 
have the opportunity to do the beaches as well along with the area that you're decorating on the land maybe i suggest doing that as well just 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 some advice maybe that will help you finish your eyelids easier less stress and maybe you'll even finish it quicker like i do i tend to finish eyelids pretty fast and i don't know how i don't know why and i don't see what happens it just kind of blink and it's done <laughs> I mean, this island is probably getting towards the halfway point of the land being done, so that's crazy. That's crazy to me. Okay, maybe not halfway yet, maybe because this is my fourth build today. I think this is my fourth build on Bloom. So maybe two more builds and then I'm halfway, so... I don't know it depends how i plan it out it's very strange because sometimes a neighborhood build will be like four houses and that's one build but anyway i feel like i've rambled on about this way too long we haven't actually spoke anything about the build hardly so yeah let's go back to talking about the build first of all leopold is still here yes i haven't got rid of him yet i do need to scan some more amiibos in we also have our sweet gail oh my goodness i love her she's so cute she's perfect i'm obsessed I'm obsessed. Every single alligator that I have move onto my island, I end up falling in love with them. And she's no exception. She's cute. She's pink. She has a heart on her nose. And she's an alligator. I love her. <laughs> Leopold, on the other hand, not so keen. He doesn't really fit this meme. But anyway, we're going to be adding the last few little final touches here. I know I need to stick some flowers there and I just turned around and told you not to leave bits till the end. But I'm going to leave that bit because I need more flowers. That's okay. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna do that. But the cruise bike definitely completes this little area here. And actually that brings us to finishing the area. So you know what that means? It's time to have a look around at what we've done today and yeah, check out Nook's Cranny. And there we have it we have finished the build today i feel like this came out super cute i really like how enclosed nook's cranny looks and all the trees around it and all the colors i just think it looks so pretty and i'm super duper happy with how it looks now if you enjoyed today's build don't forget to like comment and subscribe come join the jelly bean family i hope you have the loveliest of days and i'll see you in my next video goodbye